everyone welcome back to my video what's going on wagwan wagwan so i am in the last stage of pregnancy i am 38 weeks and i had my soup uh, my suitcase yeah my hospital bag suitcase pack from about 36 weeks 36 or 37 weeks so into this video i'm going to show you what is in my hospital bag hospital bag for labor and delivery and for baby and for hubby and for my son <laughs> right so uh, let me get into the video let me show you what me have me keep it simple because this is a second pregnancy and me kind of have an idea what to bring and what not to bring so i'm gonna try to keep it simple Be um, with my first i end up having a c-section emergency c-section which i stayed three days in the hospital and me still didn't even use pretty much everything that i that i brought with me for like a one night stay so with this time around i made it simple made it a little bit more easier i did not honestly because i want to do a v-buck so basically may i stick to uh one day or at least two days stay into the hospital i don't want to overdo it that's that is what i'm planning for i don't want to have a repeat c-section because the recovery it's not pretty at all it's not easy like for some people probably is but for me it's not so anyway let's get right into it let me show you what may have in my bag i may explain to you as i go along as well so let's do it now all right so you're probably wondering yo where should i go with suitcase so yes i have a suitcase and it's a carry-on size and it's so neat it's so nice i, I bought it used i bought it for like 30 dollars either 30 dollars or 25 dollars i don't remember but it wasn't under $40 that's for sure I think it's $30 and I love the color and it's very nice and neat if you want to go away for a weekend or something or even just for your hospital bag or something like that you can use this and the reason why I chose this because it's easier with the wheels it can go either way and it's just easier to carry around like going into labor and everything it would be easier to carry around so I decided to go with the suitcase right so it's not only my stuff into it so that would be a lot of stuff so it's me newborn baby and my husband and my first son stuff is in it right and some snacks and stuff let's open it i'm sure okay so before we go into the suitcase i also took out this to show you guys this is the boppy if me i said that right remember this called nursing pillow this is a nursing pillow did not have this the first time around did have difficulty with my first son latching on and everything like that and i decided okay i'm gonna try my best to do things a little bit differently to see if it could help me a little bit more with breastfeeding with um the second child row. right so this one i bought it brand new got it off um the used website but it was brand new for ten dollars i got it for and i really love it I already washed it already but I put it back into the bag because of dust and all of those things and it, it have an angle on it so we can grab and go we don't need to take it into the labor ward so we probably just leave it into the into the car and send uh, when I go to the postpartum postpartum room then I'll just send my husband for it afterwards so I got this and I decided I will not be leaving it I have it written down with a list so we don't forget it and it would be into the area where the suitcase is as well so that's the pillow and you don't have to worry if you don't if you don't have it mm, you don't worry about that it's just that I saw it was cheap and I decided okay let me try it and see and see if it will help my chances in breastfeeding a lot more and easier too so in the suitcase let's get into it the thing that I really love about this suitcase it has two parts to it which every suitcase does but the other part has the zip section i don't know if you can see over here i have the zip section so you can part off whatever um side you want to part off all right and the first thing you probably see on here on the top is a blanket a baby blanket and i'm, I'm not gonna get into my stuff first before i go into the baby stuff but the baby blanket is the first thing I, I put on top because it can't really hold into this side so let me just put it on top right a nice blanket and i choose this blanket because i can take pictures with it do videos with it or anything like that for baby so let me just put it over here on the baby side so let's get onto my side now 
onto my side. Let's see where we can put some of these things. Okay. So onto my side, the first thing once um me touch onto my side, my have is um a Bible. So my holy Bible. So I'm a Christian and I decided this time around in order to, you know, just keep calm, conscious, because me try to just do not go naturally. And even if I'm not the one reading it, it could be my husband reading it for me. I you know I got I have my second Bible the smaller version and me decided you know what me now go leave without it and me just put it in there as well so it also like the scriptures in the bible if you don't know that can keep you calm like give you strength motivate you and all of those things to push forward right so me have my bible now leave it now leave it not this time around okay so let's start on this side me really set it up so neatly me I go ugh. Hopefully we can set it up afterwards. Set it up back afterwards. So I have some snacks. Didn't have snacks the first time around. My husband did go out and buy a few things, but mainly for himself. So this snacks is for everybody basically. I have some um what do you call this? Planters trail mix. Some honey roasted peanuts, which is my favorite. This is mostly the trail mix is mostly for my husband. The honey roasted is mostly for me because I love honey roasted peanuts. And some gummy bears. The gummy bears is mostly for my son, my first son. And for me too. Well, for everybody, but mostly for him. Right? So I got these three here. I'm going to look for some crackers or something to put in there as well. But these are the main three main things that I have in there for snacks right now. Alright. Um, after that... We have so far I already charge up my my power bank. This is my power bank just in case me need any extra charge or any extra and the outlet is somewhere that I can't find or something. I already charged this up already and may have it in here because it's just easy for, to put in here. With the camera and my camera and my GoPro and stuff like that, tripod, I have those on the list on the list that I will be placing on the wall that we need to grab as we're going. And we have right here. I wouldn't call this again. It's not. It's not an adult diaper. But I totally forgot the name of it. I'll put it right here. I'm sorry, people. But it's not an adult diaper. But it's for a lot of people recommend it. It, it mostly for people that have leakage and stuff like that, female and stuff like that. But a lot of people recommend it like right after you give birth. It's really good compared to the hospital. The hospital pods them and the hospital that I'm going, it's a different one. So I don't know if they do give, I think they do. I think they do because I did work there and we were given out. We did use, yeah, we give people pods. Yeah. So yes, but they're not, they're not the best. So I, I brought, I have two of these. I can't find the other one right now. I'm probably on the other side, on the baby side to fit. But I have two of these and hopefully this is my first time trying them so hopefully they work out if not i have pods regular pods in my in my little bag right here if that no work out or i mean just use the hospital pods all right oh let me tell me i'll also have one more trail mix as well all right so into this package i have not taken it well i have I'm gonna take it out already, try it. well not try it on, but take it out, look at it, read all the things I'm on it. So into this package it has my belly band and this is something that I did not have right after birth with my first son, which me kinda do regret. But you know with your first sometimes you don't get a lot of information until your second and all of those things. So with this one is a three part with I got this on Amazon, I'll show you a picture of how it look. Are always supposed to stay so you have three stages to it you have the first stage the second stage depending on the weeks you you are postpartum and you can use it right so i got this one i'm not gonna take it out and it's 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 a fairly good price too as well i kind of invested into a really good one that um people are telling me that are very comfortable okay so i have that then i have i have a scarf 
a scarf or a scarf or um head tie the more silky one i have this for me for my locks just tight up or whatever if i want to it's very small very thin me just keep it simple as i'm gonna say and i was searching around for a robe a nice robe not one of those big thick ones but a nice robe and i eventually got one i got this one and i'm so happy they're normally expensive like these ones when may i research online and stuff to look to buy they're normally 60 70 dollar and i got this like under 10 dollars right it's very nice it has the little lace down at the bottom and it's long enough and it's big enough this is i got it i was happy that it's big enough too i think it's um they call this i'm looking at it but it now already stayed on my head that's what happens when you're pregnant <laughs> right um this is extra large <laughs> right this is extra large and i got it really big so we can wear it in the hospital most likely after birth after giving birth kind of have it pop out breast feed baby feed baby and stuff like that just to keep it simple right you can have something underneath it if you, if you don't want to because the hospital going them are not comfortable so we see how that goes all right so on over to the next part of it so i have this nursing dress this nursing dress that i bought it's just a simple dress it looks just like an, a regular nightgown but it's 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 for nursing so you have two zipper on the, the breast side you can zip down and take out the breast feed baby so if i have visitor you know when i have visitor come in there you know me, me, me okay like the rest of my body cover up and all of those things right and you zip down the other side and do the same thing as well feed baby all right so so with these now i have two two um what you call this uh, under blows um i forgot what you call these man but anyway yeah i just have just two regular blows right here i would say under blows i don't remember the name i'm so sorry guys i'm forgetting a lot of things right now i have a black one and a pink one and as i said i can wear it with the robe the pink one comes with goes mostly goes with the pajama bottom that i have in here pajama pants bottom that i have in here but i can wear both of them under the robe by itself or something either either one either one you know what i mean and it's easy and i, I bought it bigger as well so it i have a lot more room you know to suck on to me right then i have for going home outfit oh i need to grab a leggings i need to grab one of my one of my leggings to go with this going home outfit i need to remember that otherwise me i go home in a pajama bottom <laughs> yeah so this is my going home outfit i got it a little bit bigger because as i'm say i don't want anything to be suck on to my body we just want it to be loose comfortable nice and warm and since we're still in march we we'll get some snow even this weekend coming we have a snowstorm coming so i don't know what's going to be so yeah just a regular just a nice normal blows and we're going to look at leggings that go that goes with it i'm not going to buy anything else may have too much leggings and it, it's may have them and them big enough so you can just put one with it and the next thing that i have is the pajama bottom that i said that i can wear with one of the the blows here that's a normal pajama bottom this is like a fleece fleece if i'm saying that right fleece material and it feels so nice and it's so i make sure that it's bigger so it's not too tight to my body that's that's the goal with 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 all of these clothes especially after you give birth you don't want them to be tight you don't want them to suck onto your body because you want to be comfortable you don't want to be sitting on uh, uh, you know you want to be very very comfortable especially after giving birth because your body will go through a lot of pain a lot of eggs and all of those things right so you just want to feel comfortable and feel nice and throughout that process until you come home and you have it you can put on whatever big shirt or whatever you want right so yeah that is it for um the clothes them on that side i did end up putting some things on the baby side because there's not so much space on my side for my things them so i'll show you that what else 
this is the first time wearing an actual nursing bra we we'll just get bigger bra or a sports bra so I went out and I bought a nursing bra the size them clip down so easy access to to nursing for nursing the baby so I said alright let me buy one let me buy I only bought one because I have a lot of bra and a lot of sports bra and they're bigger so if this works good and really comfortable once the milk kicks in my my milk kick in with my first about day three and I stayed there for over three about three and a half days no about um day two my milk kick in right and about I'm stayed about three and a half days right because I remember they were trying to help me with breastfeeding and stuff so yes nursing bra I have that I got slippers I got slippers these slippers I did not have to go out and purchase I actually got this into a nice set from my husband from from for, for my birthday and you know I wish it was a different color but since we already have a slippers and then I even got a next set that includes us uh, you know a slippers as well uh, slippers as well so I'm like you know I can't really avoid getting white slippers so <laughs> me say you know it's all good it's all good I'm grateful and thankful that I don't need to spend extra money for this they're brand new and I'll be using them and them have the grits on the bottom as well all right also I have a shower cap as well because my locks it's when it's wet it, it's hard to dry out like, like that right because we just let it loose and let it dry but once it wets like having a shower or something is a little bit more harder so make sure me, me, me get a shower cap and it has plastic inside it looks so nice and fancy outside but it's got a plastic inside so I got that for when me I have a shower in the hospital all right and I have socks I have two pair two pair of socks so the first pair I was looking for both of them are non-slip socks this one is more of a fuzzy warmer socks this one them say it's supposed to be yoga socks and this one this is the first time I'm ever going to try these ones are the one that you actually put your toes into so you even get a better grip with it as well I tried it on before and it feels good <laughs> it feels strange but it feels good it's just like putting gloves on not mittens gloves on your your hand right so and they have the grits on the bottom and they're supposed to be really good so I have two of these yeah. and I think the last but least I have I'm not gonna show you my underwear but I have some big ones that me use so like period or whatever so I just carry two right they do give you underwear there but I they're brand new though they're brand new but I don't really like the feel of them so I just bring two just in case just in case but if if you don't want to you don't have to but I just bring two just in case because I, I remember wearing it before I am never really like the feeling it's too loose because I think it's one size for everybody and it was just too, it feel too big and like with the pad inside of it and stuff like that it just feel like the pad I go fall out every time I walk so it was not comfortable somebody said if you just have two of my own and i think yeah and i have the other one spread this is supposed to be into my, my little bag right here but it can't fit in there because okay let me show you what i have into my local toiletry bag so it has one two three levels right the top level may just have some ear tie i probably put uh, two more into it because these ones just look like something i just pick up whatever I just put these into it so I remember that I need to have ear tie as well. Right, I can put more things into it, but I don't want it to be full and I already have all that I need into it. Basic and simple. Let's go to the next level. The next level. The next level I have. These are tacks. So basically I did not have this in my first for my first child I did not have any this did not know about it or anything like that it's supposed you're supposed to put it on your pad and it's supposed to give you a relief like of pain to just help smooth smooth things I'm gonna put up a picture of it to show you I never know about it and Mrs. I say okay make a purchase it and see if it does help so I have that I have some nursing pads so some breast pads right so I don't think I need so much I'm just take out I have a box full so I just take out like an handful and just put it in here anyway, I have some pads here 
I have an always thick pad, just one. As I said, they do give you pads there. And I have these two pads that I have right here. These are all natural. I switched over to natural because just the regular always are always are cotex are those ones were giving me rashes and you know itchiness and all of those things. So I said, nah, maybe my body is just reacting badly to them. So I decided to go all natural with my pads. They feel just like cotton swab in a way, feel even better softer than cotton swab. So I decided to go with natural also natural i may only have two so in total i just have like two about three pads in here as i said i keep it simple so this one may probably take out and put it on top so i know in pain in pain or not i know where to find so this is a vaseline lip balm so this is a lip therapy and especially when you're in labor breathing dryness i to be a thing i gonna be a problem but also buy gum to help with that as well to kind of just keep keep chewing and you know we we'll see how that work people say it does help i'm gonna decide okay maybe buy one and see i just have like a little brush and a comb for my purpose right we just brush up my hair mostly after we give birth like you know we're taking pictures or something like that here yeah, just um we don't really need to comb and most of the brush because as you can see we have luck so I'll just brush my brush it up but I'm gonna get my hair redone so the root we're not gonna really need for brush up right hopefully we can get that done in time all right um what's in this again oh <laughs> yeah we need to label these things well I don't really have to because this is the only one I have in there so this is Listerine I don't know that's what I'm going to if them give Listerine maybe just two paste but this is Listerine I have Listerine here didn't have to go out and buy it I already have a big bottle so I'm gonna just throw some Listerine into this this is toothpaste. I already have small toothpaste in the house. Didn't have to go out and buy it. Let me just put it in here. And I think the only thing, the only thing I have to, I, I, I went out and purchased was a toothbrush. So it's a traveling toothbrush. So this toothbrush, actually, when you take it out of the case, it fall in because me I always have a problem with, I like toothbrush. Like I don't want my toothbrush to be touching surface without it have a cover. So either me have a cover on the the, 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 the brussel part of it or me get like one of those folding ones so hopefully this one falls in and it's intact because I when it comes to those things I'm very 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 I am very cautious you know I don't that's how I feel that's how I feel I don't know about you that's how I feel so I have the toothbrush I have nipple cream so this nipple cream suppose that when my first I did not have nipple cream whatsoever did nobody tell me about no nipple cream or whatever you know what I mean and I was pumping like crazy and the pump is more hard harder on your breast compared to when a baby is suckling on your breast but this time around I got a nipple cream right and I got the nipple cream it says it extra strength formula for sore nipples glides and smooths smoothly and gently safe for mom and baby got nipple cream i have body body butter body lotion body butter so this is a coconut body butter on the face but that's it i keep it simple guys because as i said i'm not planning on staying into the hospital because in the name of jesus i will not be having a c-section this time around so one night that's good for me two the max if they want to help me with breastfeeding but that is it right not staying in there because i know c-section i would be doing a vaginal birth anyway so on baby side, I did not carry a lot of baby stuff. So the first thing that I have is this. So basically it's a breastfeeding. Oh, where am I say? It's for breastfeeding and it's for the car seat as well. So when the, you're taking the baby out, we put this over the car seat. And if I'm out and about or something, I still use this same one. Put it over me and baby and breastfeed baby. I have to go fold up body is different all right so for clothes for baby clothes we have and these are all let's see what size these are all zero to three months so we have this look and I think this would be is going on my outfit this little sleeper right here because it's cool over here and then I have this other little sleeper so probably this one you'll be 
wearing in the hospital maybe not but this one I know is gonna be is going on outfit and I also have a little hat hat that goes with it and mittens as well all right and for onesie I have this newborn so I think I only have one newborn outfit in here just in case he's on the smaller side we have a little newborn outfit for him and this one is long sleeve onesie and this is zero to three they kind of look small and so cute zero to three onesie and I chose some of these in order to take pictures as well and we have this what is this brand? Nike brand and this is zero to three as well and this is long sleeve I'm mostly taking long sleeve because as I said it's still winter time here in Calgary and it's cold outside and I just have this little pants that goes <laughs> that goes with either the onesie maybe maybe he won't put it on or anything but I just have it because it's very small and thin so I just brought it so that's just keeping it simple so for blanket as I showed you the nice big blanket up here when we have a picture we have two receiving blankets so we have this blue one right here and then this star blue one right here just two simple receiving blanket I don't think I could just use one but I brought these ones also for pictures as well so most of the things I'm right here so me, 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 me take up the pictures so into this little pampers case I got a sample of pampers so me take up the sample out of it the wipes and stuff and into it may have the, like baby mittens and stuff like that so me have one two three diapers and a sample wipes in it just in case we're going home and baby have a baby baby have like a diaper need to need to change diaper they do give you they do give you diapers at the hospital but this new one that i'm going to i'm not sure if they do so i'm just carry the like not sure if they do to go home i know that they give you while you're in hospital so sometimes they'll give you free stuff to win when you're going home for this one i'm not sure right so it may bring extra just in case we're going or we need to change the baby on the go and we have the hat that goes with the sleeper here we have one more hat i may carry a few of them because with my first the hats them look that the are tom whatever you want to call it when you carry they couldn't fit baby and they were big so we buy a few of them smaller ones um this one is a nice one it has the mittens that goes with it I have socks in here as well not too sure I just two pair of socks probably gonna be too big and two pair of uh, mittens and how many hats one two three hats so three hats two pair of mittens and two pair of socks and that's about it the next thing that I have in the suitcase for baby is this ink pad with my first at that hospital they did not do any in pot in ink pad for him so I decided to purchase one for myself with this hospital I don't know if they're going to do that but just in case I bought one for myself right to get babies um, footprint oh one more thing so this I picked up at a dollar store just for babies documents everything would be in here so everything may have everything sealed and everything like that I may not have to worry about it if may I leave paper behind if may I leave anything behind our farms or anything like that so with my first I did have something like this as well and it's really nice to have you know it's simple I bought this for a dollar you put all your paperwork and my stuff in there for my first son I brought him a big brother t-shirt and I probably bring him something take something else with him as something else for him as well but I brought this for him to take pictures with and also to when he come into the hospital like if he's coming from school if my, my husband is going to take him from school or wherever I'm coming and I'm come to the hospital to meet the baby for the first time I would like to change him out of that clothes that him touch other surface and other people with and put him into this clean one so that's one of the, the major reasons why may I put it in there and also for pictures as well for my husband I I got him a shirt a button-up just a button-up simple shirt and the reason why I got a button-up simple shirt, planning for him to do skin-to-skin -skin with baby as well, 
and it would be easier instead of completely taking his shirt off and after just skin to skin and people coming in and out of the room and stuff like that we just have this open the front side just like oh i would do open the front and have baby on the chest and still have his shirt on because you know the hospital chilly anyway and also with him being on the outside and to come in with all of those germs especially now <laughs> come in with all of those germs him have a clean shirt a nice clean dress shirt put on and we're not worried too much about the all of that germs and stuff going on to baby so this would be going into the suitcase as well so for obi and the shirt for little little man right so yes i think oh yeah and i did mention i have my headphones my headphones i'm going to put in definitely probably would need it for labor and delivery to kind of help me throw the labor and may have my my tripod mini tripod stick and the camera that i'm using now i'll be taking that this is a dslr camera nikon camera it's a bigger camera so and it fits on this very sturdy I will not be taking a tall tripod or a selfie light or nothing like that. I'll be taking a GoPro so just in case something is wrong with the big camera I can use the GoPro. With this I made a list of the things that I need to take with me when we're leaving to go to the hospital and once I'm in labor. This is, would be on the wall next to the suitcase so we know when we're going what to grab and this is a good idea because you, you're not, basically you don't need to be wondering oh what do I miss, what do I leave what I need to send him back for or whatever so I make a list to make sure just in case I'm on the road or if something happened that I have to go to the hospital without him and he has to come after then he will come home and grab the suitcase and he knows what to go with the suitcase as well so I have this list <laughs> so yeah so basically I'm pretty much I'm pretty much prepared so I'm just gonna put everything back together and this is all that I have for my labor and delivery what's in my labor and delivery hospital bag or hospital suitcase basically and everything fits in there this is a lot of stuff and everything fits in there so just imagine right so thanks for watching again i'll see you in my other videos thank you so much for subscribing liking and sticking around comment if you like and we we'll see you in my other video all right later